hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle um, I hope um, everybody's enjoying um, the Christmas Boxing Day and New Year's um, holiday and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe or to my travel and my lifestyle channels and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so i really appreciate it today i'm really excited because i'm going to be um doing a vlog on the best smallish uk attractions that you can go and visit uh, this is according to the guardian um newspaper so guardian slash uh, travel uh, to find out even more information about these attractions so i'm going to kick off uh, with uh, number one which is at teeny pier which is at uh, burnham on sea summer set at just 37 meters long and has uh, no equal um, here in the UK um, there's little outlet selling refreshments and um, also a larger cafe than you might expect um, in such a, a small space um, it has um, all the essentials of a pier that you can walk along it and you could probably do some fishing on it or get uh, or get some nice views um, with a bonus that it looks like a model of a proper one um, which somehow adds an extra layer to the entertainment um, on offer and um, it's open every day and it's a free attraction to go and visit so um, if you want to see um, a tiny pier or looking for an attraction um, in Somerset that is uh, free to go to um, the tiny pier at Burnham Hon Sea um, again um, what, when I go to uh, decide to visit uh, Somerset again um, because it's not far from Western Supermare um, again uh, you can get to it by uh, bus um, and uh, probably also by train um, but uh, definitely by bus um, I think it again is uh, worth seeing and uh, you can see other youtube videos um, to see what it actually looks like and look at the guardian uh, newspaper um, under sla uh, slash travel number two is teeny theatre tom thumb theatre margate ken tom thumb is um, a cracking venue uh, for a night out So again, it's a tiny theatre. So, uh, but you can see shows um, and productions uh, there. But again, there will uh, be limited seats available with the theatre being very small. Um, number three is a teeny pub. Um, the nutshell Boris St Edmunds in Suffolk is um, the UK's uh, tiniest pub and um, number four Teeny Museum Worley Museum West Yorkshire is the smallest museum in Britain is also one of the newest opening um, October 2016 so it is a relatively new attraction uh, with a 
brass band and Morris dancers um, antique jewellery a perfume a tomanizer um, whistles and um, other domestic items uh, from Wallis at past uh, the items on display uh, change every few months uh, which is uh, very exciting for a museum uh, with uh, new ex uh, exhibitions and um, in uh, transparent uh, boxes um, uh, that can also be seen from the outside it's open a uh, daily from 8 p.m. to 4 p.m. and it's absolutely free to travel to as well which is an um, and to visit and if you have visited it before then again uh, you can go and visit it again and uh, you'll probably see um, different items because they change it up every few months which is really good and uh, number five uh, teeny distillery Ed door near Pitlockery, Perthshire, Shire, Perthshire, Scotland at tours. Um, it has dist distillery tours um, with a visitor centre and a tasting bar. Wow! It's open Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Shuts at 4 p.m. in the winter, and the last tour is 4 p.m. in the summer and 3 p.m. in the winter. Adults um, are 10 pounds. Uh, children 12 to 17 are 5 pounds. And um, again, uh, because it's a distillery tour, which is essentially alcohol, uh, there's no under 12s allowed to travel to. So um, again, it's um, if you've got it's children between twelve and seventeen years, then again, um, it's ideal to take them because it, it's only five pounds, and adults at ten pounds. Number six, Teeny Church, St Ives Bridge Chapel, Cambridgeshire. It's free, it's open in the summer, weekends, but times and days vary on that. So you're probably best to look at um, St Ives or Cambridgeshire Tourist um, Information Centre or look up um, on the St Ives Bridge Chapel website and um, number seven Teeny House um, which is it's sim called Symbol All Derbyshire is the world's has the world's largest collection of symbols and um, opening late 2018 and it's called Symbol Hall at uh, co.uk um, again if you want to book and find more information about um, the teeny south it looks absolutely um, exciting and spectacular and um, again it's um, a new attraction opened at uh, just 2018 um, in the UK um, number eight uh, teeny castle uh, Winston Castle near Haverford West, Pembrokeshire. Winston Castle on a hill in the far south west of Wales. Um, it has uh, not been altered or enlarged throughout the Middle Ages and as uh, one of the country's best preserved. Um, Malt and Bailey Castles um, it's free to visit and it's open daily from 10am to 4pm so that, uh, that sounds absolutely excited especially if you're staying around um, 
the Haverford West area of South Wales and again it's um, a free attraction that you can go and visit or probably just give a donation um, if you want to and uh, number nine um, Teeny Harbour Seacliff Harbour is Lothan and um, Scotland has little boats um, belonging to fishermen today you'll catch the odd kayaker and divers doing training exercises in the water or you may do and um, it's free of charge um, though to see absolutely free to see and uh, walk along um, also um, there's a three pound charge for a nearby car park so um, if you um, again um, stopping in the area and you stop um, then it's again worth a visit you just pay the three pound car park car parking fee last but not least number 10 is teeny cinema and that's in bournemouth um Colsium dorset uh, with just 19 seats in screen one and um just eight seats in screen two and um, this is the smallest cinema opened um in september 2013 inside uh, the lavish life shop and art gallery in the suburb of west um bournemouth or westbourne um, in Bournemouth, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, it opens from 7.30pm and it's £7.50 per person if you want to see a film, which is again idea if you're in that area to go out and uh, visit and watch a film um, at night if uh, that's what you're um, into so i would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and i'll see you on sunday for travel news um next week um which will be from monday onwards and on sunday i'm going to be doing my travel and my lifestyle channels improvements updates and more and um, so to look forward to i hope everybody has um, a good day and has um, um, a really good time over the Christmas and New Year bank holidays and holiday period so I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye